Welcome to Live Darts. We're here in Minehead with a victorious Michael Van Gogh. Michael, congratulations. Thank you very much. Great first round performance. 6-1 win. 107 average. 71% of your doubles. You must be happy no, with I that. No, I don't think it was 107. I think it was 104. I'm oh, sorry, 104. 71% of your doubles. Yes, 104 average. You want to start again? <laughs> no, I, I, I think I, I, did, I did well. It wasn't a phenomenal performance that I didn't... After the beginning, the beginning they play well, but then after the 105 finish, single ball top stops, I come into a game straight away, 10 data, and think they made a game and give me a bit of confidence. Because, yeah, I also want to win here, simple as that. It's a big tournament for all of us, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, to be fair. Got a phenomenal record here in my head. <coughs> and, yeah, really un good, to be fair. Unbeaten nearly four years here on this yeah. stage, so you must be supremely confident you can get the job done. Yeah, of course, but it's going to be tough because uh, also the next round is going to be best of 11, short game against uh, Keegan Brown. But I have to be focused because he starts to get into form and I need to make sure I'm putting him under pressure as well. And I have to take everyone serious because lately some, they all do a little bit extra against me, so I need to stop that to be fair. Pl certain players overlook people as well. I know you won't overlook Keegan no, Brown the same no. as you didn't Paul Nicholson in the European Championship. Everyone said it was a foregone conclusion, but you'll prepare meticulously for this game. You, yeah, you have to uh, prepare well for any game because if, if you don't, especially in this short format, if they got a the chance, they will try to, to, to nick it off you. And you, you, know, you shouldn't be in that position to give it to them. And I need to make sure I keep concentrating, keep, keep my focus going, and play well as. Uh, as I can, and uh, I think there's more in the tank. I feel good, and yeah, my, my form lately has been well. Of course, the result's not always what I want it to be, but I'm still in good form. For yourself, is it important to head toward Alexandra Palace with, with momentum behind you? So, winning this tournament would do yeah, that? Yeah, it would be nice, of course, but there's still a long way to go. Uh, I'm not looking into that yet. Uh, I'm first focusing on this weekend over here in, uh, in my Netherlands, and uh, I want to perform well here, and uh, that's the only thing I'm looking forward to. If you weren't to win the Worlds this year, would you class this year as a failure? Because I know it's the one you always no, look to. No, it's nothing failure. I still won the most tournaments above anyone. Maybe even after after myself, uh, who won the second most tournaments? Probably Gary. How many? Not as many as you. Exactly. Not even half, I think. And uh, I, I know I, I can do even better than this. Uh, I feel good. And uh, the, you shouldn't care about things like this. Of course, uh, in 2016, I won 25 tournaments, a lot of majors. I, al I also know that it's going to be difficult to reach that, but I'm confident, I feel good, and I don't know there's more in, more in the tank, and I believe in yourself. That's the only thing that counts. Michael, huge congratulations. Thank All the much. best tomorrow, and thanks for joining us here at Live Thank Dance, you. as always, mate. Pleasure. Cheers, Thank mate. you. Cheers, Phil.